This is a really quick video for setting up Uptime Robot. So all you have to do is click on sign up. Sign up literally takes about 30 seconds. You just have to give them an email address and password. I already have an account, so I'm just going to click login. And you'll enter your login information. Once you're here on your dashboard, you'll just click on add new monitor. It's going to ask you what type of monitor and you want to use keyword. The reason for using a keyword monitor is to allow you to actually monitor mm. if a specific word is seen on the website. If the word doesn't exist, then Uptime Monitor can send you an alert to let you know that the website is not showing that word. Uh, the reason that you want to use a keyword is because your website may report that it's online, but if the keyword isn't there, then you have a problem with your website typically an error message is being displayed or some other situation. Now you'll want to put in a friendly name, which is typically the name of your website. Then you'll want to put in the URL. Make sure to put in whether it's HTTP or HTTPS, if it's got a www or not. And now the keyword that you want to look for is just some keyword that appears on your website Typically in the footer is where I look for it. That way, if there's an error somewhere loading the page, for example, uh, maybe the page loaded halfway, but then it had an error and it couldn't finish loading. This could be due to a JavaScript error or something else. You'll see the issue. Um, so frequently, I just grab something from like the copyright on the bottom. So for example, just the word reserved. And we want to alert when the keyword does not exist. I usually just leave the monitoring at five minutes. Five minutes is perfectly fine. I wouldn't recommend getting into any of these advanced settings. And you'll just want to select what type of contact. In this case, I just want to send me an email and then click, click on Create Monitor. Now the monitor has been created. You'll see this pretty little green message telling you that it's been created. And it leaves the window open in case you wanted to mass add like five different things. Or if you have a page on your website that is particularly finicky or more prone to errors. Uh, for example, if you have blog writers who sometimes put in uh, code snippets that can break some of your page then you might want to make sure that your main blog page is always loading. So you would want to create a separate monitor just to check the URL of your blog page. Um, with the service, you can easily add many different pages of your website as monitoring, and it will try each and every one of those pages. So then click on close when you're all done. Here is the monitor for the, that I just set up. You'll see current status is up, 100% um, uptime because it was just created. Anyway, over time, you'll see that this changes. Typically, if an outage is only for about five minutes, it's not normally a concern. Frequently, uh, server updates or plugin updates or whatnot can easily cause an occasional blip to your uptime. When it's gone on for 15 minutes or more, that's when you want to be concerned and contact your developer or your hosting company, whichever is applicable. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoy Uptime Robot.